So now what we're going to do is we're going to practice on an actual um, SAT type of question. So the goal of this question is to figure out which way to write the sentence is best. Now I'm going to show you why ignoring prepositional phrases is such a powerful um, strategy. So what I'm going to do first is I'll read the question out loud. Um, the main purpose of the research experiment by Professor Balkin in the organic chemistry department is to discover more efficient energy sources and to develop cost-effective production methods. Okay, so you guys can again just type in where you guys see prepositional phrases and we'll begin by ignoring them. So of the research, right, because of is a preposition and the, the phrase goes to about research or but goes to actually the ex research experiment. So of the research experiment, I see by, yeah, by is also a preposition, so by Pro Professor Balkin. And then anyone else? So in the organic chemistry department. In is also, so scroll can go in a log, right? So that's a preposition. So now let's read the sentence um, simplified. The main purpose is to discover more efficient energy sources and to develop cost-effective production methods. Now this sentence got a lot simpler. Does anyone see the error already? I'd, I'd be pretty impressed if you see the error. Uh, does anyone want to say what the error is? Yeah, exactly. So a lot of you guys are saying it. Two, there's two purposes. So this question is saying purpose, right? But then here it says the purpose is to discover something and. So and, whenever you see and, you got to think plural. And to develop. So if there's, there's a purpose to discover and to develop, it's actually, it should be purposes, right? So basically we can cross out all of the answer choices that have um, purpose rather than purposes. So we know A, A is always identical to the actual question. So A, C also says purpose and E. So those are all out of the game. Now a good way to, uh, to approach this problem now that we've got it down to B and D is just look for the difference between B and D. What's the difference in the sentence between B and D? Yeah, is and are, right? So everyone's saying here. So what would you say? Would you say purpose is or, or purposes is or purposes are? Yeah, and everyone's saying it, D, right? Because that's singular plural agreement. So notice how the SAT would plug in all of these prepositional phrase, phrases here of the research experiment by Professor Balkin in the organic chemistry department between the subject, which is purposes, and the verb is. So if you ignore the prepositional phrases, a lot of singular plural errors will come to life and they'll be a lot easier to see. All right, so that's um, ignoring prepositional phrases.